Aside from the most amazing costumes, concepts and music, one of the main things I noticed was that everyone's energy dialed up a few notches. We had better performances than last week, we heard shouts and screams of happiness from a lot of the professionals, and the judges seemed to be having a wonderful time. It was, for sure, one of the most fun weeks yet and you could tell how much everyone was enjoying the night. Spooky surprises Tony was spectacular this week and I'm so glad that the judges recognized it. As they said, he is not just the comedy act of the series. He is dancing and taking it seriously, and there was no way that anyone could have said differently. I'm extremely happy about this. Kim's rumble was of a very high level. Her leg action and flow were outstanding. I think she turned a corner this week. Very impressed. And then there's L.A.T. Wow. Now that is my kind of dance. So theatrical and it did everything they wanted it to do, which was to show off the fun loving friendship that they have. It made my heart happy and I hope it gives her a confidence boost for next week and onwards. Creepy concepts in general I feel that everyone this week took a step up from last week. Everything was better. Because each dance had a delightfully creepy Halloween theme, obviously, the dances and the VTs were just so entertaining. Nothing about the week was too serious or emotional. I think I prefer that on a theme week like this, as it helps keep the energy high throughout. My top fearsome for L.A.T. and Yoa hands, 9, theatrical and sum them up beautifully. Kim and Graziano, 9, a rumba is hard but she nailed it. Helen and Gorka, 9, a gorgeous ballroom girl with a beautiful hold. Tyler and Diane, 9, fun, fast and technically very good. Did the right couple go? Despite not being too sure on the B concept, James has been going from strength to strength, listening to comments and working on his critiques. Fleur should never have been in the bottom two. However, they both made mistakes. It happens a lot in a dance-off. Fleur is the better dancer out of the two and deserved to stay. 2014 Strictly Come Dancing winner Joanne Clifton has teamed up with the UK's leading online bingo site which bingo to deliver an honest, weekly summary of the ups and downs of each episode of this year's Strictly Come Dancing series.